Welcome to another Bites of Bread from St. John in the Center. Again, I'm Pastor Shell. Together we're exploring the land. And finally, I fixed that to say, learning from the events the events and places from the Bible, not just from Jesus. So that means that, again, we're looking at the time of the early church after Jesus ascended into heaven. We we're following the Apostle Paul on his first missionary journey. The last video, we had him over in Athens, and now we continue with that journey. But we have him in a Greek city called Corinth. And was it, as was his custom, he spent time with the Jews in the city, but they rejected him. So then he changed his and focused his efforts on the Gentiles. It was at this place that the Lord again appeared to him in a special vision and said to him, Do not be afraid, Paul. Keep on speaking. Do not be silent, for I am with you. And no one is going to attack and harm you, because I have many people in this city. So the Bible tells us that Paul spent a year and a half in this city, teaching them about the word of God doing the very thing that God had commissioned him to do. For today's purposes, though, we're going to think about the very end of Paul's stay in Corinth and how it came to a close. Before we get to Paul, though, I want you to take a moment and just think, what would it be like if you had to stand trial for your faith? What do you think it would be like to look up and see the judge who had the power to condemn you? What would it feel like to hear the accusations of people who, who hate you? What would it be like to face the future and have so much uncertainty about what was going to happen. For you and I, those are only hypothetical questions, of course, at least at this point. But for the early church, those issues were all, all too real, and at times, all too common. So again, we join the Apostle Paul as he's in Corinth, but we see him not freely proclaiming the word of God in the synagogue, but we see him on trial. The Jews rejected Jesus as the Messiah, they had no new use for his resurrection from the dead, and the Greeks were equally confused about this new religion that Paul was sharing with people. So he found himself on trial. The basic case was he had to prove to he had to prove that this was not a Jewish issue, but this was a Roman. Uh, sorry, the the opponents of Paul were trying to prove that this was a Roman issue as well as a Jewish issue, issue and that's why the Apostle Paul was guilty. Now, we hear about that when we turn to the book of Acts, chapter 18, verses 12 through 16. Let's take a moment to, to read that. So while it says, while Galileo was pro, pro council of Achaia, the Jews made a united attack on Paul and brought him before the judicial bench. They said this man is persuading the people to worship God in a way that is against the law. But just as Paul was about to speak, Galileo said to the Jews, if this were some kind of misdemeanor or vicious crime, I would formally accept the complaint of you Jews. But since these are disputes about words and names and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not intend to be a judge of these things. So he drove them away from the judicial bench. You have to again wonder what it would be like for Paul to be there and, and to hear the accusations, to see the judge. You have to wonder how he made it through. No doubt he relied on God's promises. He remembered that God said that he would get him through everything in this life, and not only in this life, but he had an eternal home waiting for him in heaven. Paul could have remembered the important work that the Lord had commissioned him to do as he was his missionary. Interestingly, this, this place, that this event that could have become scary, actually became a blessing because it set a formal legal precedence in the Roman culture that these issues, these accusations that the Jews would bring against Paul were not actually a Roman issue, but this was only a Jewish issue that, that they need to deal with, not the Roman government. So do you want to put yourself in Paul's sandals? Well, actually this trial in Corinth is probably one of the more certain places. You can see where this trial likely took place at what's called the Bema or the judicial bench. It's the structure on the left half of the picture there. I have it circled in red. So what I learned this last week is that there was this platform on which a judge would sit as the people would gather below him with their cases standing in the plaza. What's also interesting about this is that this event helps provide a secure date for the book of Acts within the Bible. We know that Galileo was presiding around 51 to 52 AD, and so that would place this trial of Paul at about that time. But of course, you don't have to travel all the way to Corinth if you want to put yourself in Paul's shoes. Because you know as well as I do that there are times when we still face opposition. There are people who do not understand what we believe and why. There are people who would very much like to silence us. So how do we survive those times? How do we face those pressures? Well, we can trust Jesus' promises. I know he hasn't spoken to us directly like he did to Paul, but he has promised us that he will be with the church, that he will never leave us or abandon us, but he will be by our side, giving us the strength that we need. 
And we can know that God's going to make good on this promise because he loved us enough to die for us. If he took care of that, well, we can be certain he's going to take care of any other challenges that come away. So we rest assured knowing that he will watch over us and protect us and someday take us to our home in heaven. And we too can find courage in the important work that we've been given to do. Ultimately, when people reject us, it's not so much rejecting us, but it's rejecting the word of God that we share with them. So again, we find confidence, trusting not in ourselves, but in the Lord. Now, I hope you'll never have to feel the intense situation that the Apostle Paul experienced in Corinth when, this, uh, when the Jews rose up against him and hauled him into court. But the next time you feel something similar, like Paul, we can remember to look to what Jesus gives us. We can find our strength and his promises to be with us. Thanks again for watching. Have a good week.